Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers and in this tutorial we're going to cover numbers up to 500 and we're going to do this without the aid of a number grid so first things first do you recall the three symbols we use when comparing numbers? We have less than, equals, and greater than. So let's begin with our first example. Now suppose you have these two numbers, 347 and we have 438. So 347 and 438. What symbol goes between these numbers? Well, let's label the digits. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. Units, tens, and hundreds. Now, when we are comparing numbers, w the first thing we should do is look at the digit on the left. In this case, it is the hundreds. So we are comparing 300 here with 400 in the second number. So we're comparing these two. We're not looking at tens or units at the moment. We're just looking at the hundreds to see if we can answer this question. So three and 4. Well, we know that. That's quite easy. 3 is less than 4. And that is the arrow that we use. Now notice, we didn't even look at the tens or the units. Because 300 is less than 400, it makes no difference what the units and the tens are. And this question, this can now be rewritten as 347 is less than 438. Always note that the arrow points to the smaller number. So that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Let's look at our second example. Now suppose we have the numbers 436 and we have 420. 9. So how are we going to compare these two numbers? Well, we're going to do the same thing. Firstly, let's just label the digits. You don't have to do this every time, but it's just to illustrate what we are working at. So units, tens, and hundreds. Now the first thing we do is look at the digit on the left. In this case, it's a hundreds. So we've got 400 here, and we got 400 here. So we're making a direct comparison, the 4 and the 4. Now, here the digits are exactly the same. So therefore, we cannot answer the question just by looking at the hundreds. We now move to the digit on its right. In this case, it is the tens. For this one we have 3. The number on the right we have 2. We are now doing a direct comparison between 3 and 2. We are going to ignore the hundreds and we are going to ignore the units. It's just the tens. 3 and 2. 3 and 2. Well, we know that. That's quite easy. 3 is more than 2. Because 3 is more than 2, we can answer the question and we can put the arrow in. The hundreds were the same. The tens, this number, the three was greater than this number too. So therefore, we could actually add the arrow in. We didn't even get to the units because it doesn't matter. 436 is greater than, or you can say more than, 429. Now let's have a look at one 
Final example. Let's stick with red. I'm just going to change back. Okay, right, I'm going to go with blue. So now, suppose we have the numbers 247 and the other number is 249. 247 and 249. Now if you look really closely, it's a very, very simple to do this. But we're going to do this using the method we have used so far. We're not going to label the digits this time because you know what they are. So we're going to work, we're going to go straight to looking at the digits. So the number on the left, we're going to start with the digit on the left. That's 200. On the right hand side, it's 200. Compare the two. They are exactly the same. So we have to go one to the right. Now we're looking at the tens. We've got four here and we've got four here. So we're going to compare the two together and they are exactly the same. So if the hundreds is the same, we look at the tens. If the tens in this case is the same, we now move to the units. So we're now, finally, the last digit we're going to look at is the units. So we're now going to compare the seven and the nine. So seven and nine. Ignore the hundreds, ignore the tens because they are the same. We're going to compare the units. Now we know that's seven and nine. And we know that seven is less than nine. Seven is less than nine. So we put this arrow in. Now notice, as we've done all the way through, the arrow is pointing at the smaller number. It's pointing at seven and it's not pointing at nine. So therefore, we have worked out that 247 is less than 249. Because we looked at the hundreds first. Right, I'm just going to label it first here now. We looked at the hundreds and they were the same. We looked at the tens and they were the same. We then had to go to the units. Now when you get more practice, you'll be able to go through this very quickly and be able to answer the question. When you notice this, 2 and 2 is the same, 4 and 4 is the same, you know that you have to look at the 7 and the 9. And all of that will come with practice. So that is how we compare numbers up to 500 without using pictures or a number grid.